Snibby worked with Ansel and Associates and architect Zaha Hadid to place the interactive installation boundary functions in the Veno Science Center in Wolfsburg, Germany. As people walk around a large floor, the interactive exhibit draws lines between them. These lines show each person's personal space, the space closer to them than to anyone else. As more and more people walk onto this floor, these spaces form tiles that continue to change dynamically. These tiles relate to phenomena of nature at every scale, from bubbles to the gravitational influence of stars to human and animal settlement patterns. When people touch, the line between them momentarily disappears, allowing them to connect without borders. Boundary Functions uniquely explores the physical sciences as it echoes the patterns of bubbles and cells and the social sciences, revealing that our personal space, though we call it our own, only exists in relation to others and changes without our control. Deep Walls is a cinematic cabinet of memories. As people walk in front of this projection, their movements are recorded, then played back in silhouette. Shadows sequentially fill each of 16 boxes to create a complex rhythmic interplay of the recent events in the gallery. The work absorbs the ephemeral movements of people within a gallery into the architecture of the gallery itself. Fear is an interactive installation on the science behind feeling scared. The exhibit gives children a fun and educational projected virtual environment in which their own shadows appear in a silhouette jungle environment. In addition to their own shadows, visitors see the shadows of a leopard and a fruit tree whose fruits are constantly dropping. The goal is to collect the fruit without being eaten. If the children move towards the tree when the animal is not looking, their shadows appear in gray. Kids can collect the tree's fruit, which they can hold in their silhouette arms and hands. When the leopard turns to look at visitors, their shadows appear in outline, showing that the leopard can't see that person because they are standing still. When someone starts to move while the leopard is watching, his or her shadow turns pink, then red, to show that the leopard has seen them. They better stop right away, or else the leopard pounces and attacks them, eliciting squeals of mock fear and delight, and demonstrating the freeze or flee response in graphic form. Three Drops lets visitors explore the radical differences in water's behavior at different scales. When people first approach Three Drops, they take a virtual shower. Water flows from a shower head with accompanying shower sounds. As people stand in front of the projection, the water splashes, puddles, and flows around them. You can see the delight in people's faces as they shower without getting wet. In the next phase of Three Drops, single drops of water drip one at a time onto visitors. Here, water is magnified a hundredfold. At this scale, the surface tension of water dominates. A drop of water becomes a giant beach ball to catch and throw, and there's no longer any way to get wet. Finally, as the interactive exhibit zooms in further, we see individual water molecules. The sound of a river emphasizes that we are still looking at water. Water molecules clump together in chains and stream across the screen. At the molecular level, gravity is an insignificant force compared to the intermolecular quantum forces. The molecules are attracted to the viewer's shadow, which now represents a positively charged region.